Good morning, everyone. Hold on, I'm fixing my camera and see if that works. Hopefully that'll be okay. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another Bible Art Journaling Activity and Devotional. I'm your host, Adrian Rose Salisbury. Happy Monday to you. Hope you all have wonderful rest and a wonderful weekend and ready to begin this week off with the Lord. Grab your Bibles, grab your journals, grab your pens, pencils, crayons, markers, and join me for this worship um, experience this morning. Okay, do I have somebody on already? I do. Rob, uh, Robert Johnson, good morning to you and Ellen. How are you this morning? Thank you for being with me. <laughs> I am um, journaling thanks. I'm a little earlier for Thanksgiving. I couldn't wait. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I am journaling thanks all the month of November. That's what we're going to be uh, journaling. All right. Scriptures and talking about stories where... Thanks is part of uh, part of the story, part of the verse, all right, and um, something for us to reflect on. What what are we thankful for? Hmm? And have we told the Lord thank you? That that might be important, you know. And I was teaching. I was one of the, you know. I had kindergartners, first graders, um, for the majority of my teaching. Um, experience and uh, you know manners was one of the things that you know was very high on the list you know for the social thing you know if somebody does something for you you tell them thank you if they do something for you you say thank you right and um yeah we need to tell the Lord thank you. Did you get, did you get up this morning and say thank you, Lord, another day? What are we gonna do today? <laughs> hmm? Did you say that this morning? Did you tell him thank you for the good rest? Did you tell him I may be in pain, but I am still here. Thank you. <laughs> good morning, Ruth. How are you this morning? <laughs> and uh, Bernard, good morning to you. You people are becoming regulars. I love it. Have <laughs> been with me for a bit. I love it. Thank you so very much. All right. And so for my new people who are getting on, who have no clue what this is all about, this is Bible Art Journaling, and this is a journaling Bible. Okay. It's different than in your regular Bible because of the wide margins on either side. This one comes with lines. And some come blank, some have pictures and graphics. Some Bibles even have whole uh, blank sheets in between the printed sheets. And this allows you to do some note taking, some writing, maybe a prayer request, a testimony, um, maybe a, a song the Lord has given you or a poem. Okay. And, um, but our journalists, my baby, have a great day. Push it back a little bit further. And, um, where's your jacket, babe? Because it's chilly. Yeah, it could even go a little further, babe. Yeah. All right. <laughs> my little one about to be off to school this morning. You all pray for her, <laughs> okay? Her mama and her daddy, too. You all pray for us. All right. Um, so, but our journalists, we like to take those margins and we like to paint. And that's what I'm doing, all right? And we're using watercolor, acrylics, gel pens, gelatos, ink tents, pencils, markers, uh did I say colored pencils, watercolor, acrylic? Yes, all those great, great tools and medium. You got, yes, because it's a little chilly, babe. Bye, I love you. Bye, I love you too. I, did you get your lunchbox? Maybe daddy has it. Okay, lock me in. Thank you. Have a great day. Love you. <laughs> love you. <laughs> 
All right. And so um, we're taking a verse, taking a passage, taking a scripture, and then doing something artistic on the page. Uh, and once in a while, I'll do a little bit of journaling. I'm just jot jotting down some key words or phrases um, so that I can remember, you know, um, hey, that's, that's what we're doing, okay? And this is my fourth Bible. I have been enjoying my journey doing Bible art journaling. And um, I, I see no end in sight. I'll do this probably the rest of my life, okay? And, um, you know, I get questioned all the time about why would you paint in a Bible? And there are a couple of reasons as to why I thought this was a good idea. <laughs> One, I can paint and I don't have a lot of overhead. You know, I have a lot of canvas and stuff all over the house and I want and at the time I started doing this I could not afford to go get a lot of canvas and um, I desperately needed uh, to paint and um, and as you read in my book you'll know why <laughs> I why I needed to paint so desperately <laughs> But it was a great way for me to be able to get into God's word every day, a great way for me to paint every day. And, you know, it, it, it's not just that 10, 15 minute, maybe 20 minute uh, a devotional time that I might would have done before. You know, you sing a song, you read a scripture, maybe somebody else's devotional that they've written and and then pray and boom, you're done. No, this allowed me to sit and really think about the scripture while I was working and just felt way better. You talk about therapy and it's cheap, y'all. It's not expensive. The only thing that you're um, using and or consuming is time and and I, I'm not going to apologize for spending lots of time with God and God's word, okay? It's just, you know, it's just a great opportunity, okay? All right, I'm ready to get started. I hope you all are. But this is Bible Art Journaling. See, I do a little journaling. <laughs> um. And uh, we've been using themes and all kinds of, all kinds of things um, to come up with our different ideas of what we're going to do. And um, I get on every day to just encourage you to try this activity. <clears throat> it might not be something that you can do every day, but surely you can do maybe once a week. And I'm stretching it with the once a month thing. <laughs> but it's okay. Got something for you all who can only, you know, maybe commit to do something once a month. All right. All right. A monthly Bible art journaling challenge. All right. So you'll have 12 finished pieces by the end of next year, 2019. You can plan for that, can't you? Yes, you can. You can do it. All right, I'm in 2 Chronicles this morning, all right, and we're talking about thanks. That's our, that's our theme, that will be our theme for the whole month of November. I'm, I'm a little early, but I couldn't wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, let's pray. Father, I want to first tell you how great you are. I mean, you already know it. But I think we get surprised every once in a while about your goodness and your greatness and all the things that you can do and will do. I ask, Lord, that you will be with us as we get ready to open up your word 
send your Holy Spirit into the broadcast. Help us to um, have our hearts and ears in tune to you today. And bless all those who uh, get on with me live as well as those who just jump on it, uh, you know, throughout the day. May they be blessed by what they see and hear. May their hearts be pricked and thoughts be towards you. I thank you for this opportunity of being able to get on live every morning and open up your word. And um, thank you for using me, Lord. And I'm your, I'm your vessel. So you just speak through me, and I thank you for what you're going to do. We love you. In Christ's name, amen. All right. <gasps> Another, a school shooting? Oh, you know, there are times I just don't even turn on the news. Good morning, Uncle Robert. And um, Lisa is on. Good morning. Natasha, good morning to you. Sharita, good morning. Oh, my. We have to keep them on, on right now. Oh, wow. Have to keep them in prayer. Good Lord. There's a lot of things going on. The enemy's very busy. If we can destroy ourselves, he'll allow us to, you know. And um, God sees all, you know. <sighs> okay. I'm in Second Chronicles this morning, and this is a story about Jehoshaphat. Okay, and to kind of give you a Reader's Digest version of the story, there were some kingdoms who were going to come against uh, Jehoshaphat and, um, you know, and God's people. Okay. The Moabites the Ammonites uh, and the Meunites, I think. <laughs> I think that's how you pronounce it. Okay. I'll jack up some words. I'll try to get them right. <laughs> I try. But there are these three armies that have come to uh, fight against Jehoshaphat and uh you know, the people of Judah and Jerusalem, and um, they were on their way. They got word, and Jehoshaphat began to pray. And he started telling the Lord about, you know, aren't you the God of heaven? <laughs> and do you not rule over the kingdoms and the nations? Are you not our God who drove out the inhabitants of the land? He's just reminding God of all the great things that he had already done and accomplished. And these are the, the enemy that's coming after them. Uh, apparently are a group of individuals where God did not. Uh, allow Israel to um, invade or destroy. Um, he had them to leave those groups of people alone. <clears throat> but now they are coming after them. And so in Jehoshaphat's prayer, he's just reminding God. Now look how they're repaying us by coming uh, to drive us out of our own land and, and the inheritance that you gave, all right? I'm in 2 Chronicles uh, 20, all right? So as he's standing before the people, this is Jehoshaphat, he's standing before the people because they're looking for some direction. You know, what are we going to do? Um, we going to war? Looks like we're going to war. 
but everybody, uh, you know I mean, these are all the people and their wives and their children. They're all gathered together <clears throat> so that they can hear word from the Lord. And then there is someone and uh, his name came, uh, his name is Jahaziel. Okay. And um, he got word from the Lord. It said the spirit of the Lord came upon Jehaziel. And he says, uh, don't be afraid. This is what the Lord says. Do not be afraid or discouraged because of the vast number. And we know this part of the story. For the battle is not yours, but God's. Okay. He says on tomorrow go down against them and you will see them coming up you will find them at the end of the valley you do not have to fight this battle position yourselves stand still and see the salvation of the lord he is with you judah and jerusalem do not be afraid or discouraged. Tomorrow, go out to face them, for the Lord is with you. Isn't that something he didn't already said? The battle isn't yours, but go, position yourself, stand still, see the salvation of the Lord. Hmm? All right. So Jehoshaphat, he kneels down and faces the ground and they all kneel down and they begin to worship God. Okay. The verse that I want to get to is verse 21 where our theme word is. It's, well, in 20, it says, In the morning they got up early and went out in the wilderness and as they were about to go at, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, Judah, and you inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, and you will be established. Believe in his prophets, and you will succeed. Then he consulted with the people and appointed some to sing for the Lord and some to praise the splendor of his holiness. And when they went out in front of the armed forces, they kept singing, Give thanks to the Lord, for his faithful love endures forever. That's what the song was. Isn't that something? They're going to go out singing <laughs> to defeat the enemy. That's what it says. They bow down, they worship, they sing songs. And it says, while they began their shouts and their praises, let me tell you what ends up happening. I told you there were three groups that were coming against these, uh, uh, coming against Judah and Jerusalem. The Ammonites, Moabites, and the, uh, they gave them a name over here. This one says the people of, uh, the inhabitants of Mount Seir. But um, they gave them a name, Meunites, okay? Anyway, the Moabites and the Am Ammonites ganged up on the Meunites because uh, they thought that it was going to, you know, that they were going to turn on them. So they decided that they were going, the two decided to jump on, on, on the third one. <laughs> okay. And then once they had destroyed the Meunites, then the Moabites and the Ammonites started, they turned on each other. That's what it says in verse 23. When they had finished with the inhabitants of Seir, they helped destroy each other. And so after, uh, you know, the choir is singing, um, they finally get to the place where all of the 
uh, armies were, you know, were at, they were at the valley. All they saw were these corpses lying on the ground. No one, it says no one had escaped. This is after they had finished their concert. <laughs> I'm just saying. They were singing. They were singing. While they were singing, the armies had turned on each other, destroyed each other. So they didn't have to fight at all. That should be some good news for us. And I keep telling y'all that these stories that we run across in God's word are not just great stories for us to know. We've got to learn what these things mean, what it, what it means for us, because it could mean something different for each of us. But um, what I'm getting is that if I'm on the Lord's side, if I am living for him, there are some benefits to being a child of God. Okay. Um, and he promised that he was going to be with them. And the enemy looked big. It looked strong. I mean, you got three armies coming after you. Huh? But God says, don't worry about this thing. I've got it. You just praise me. You just worship me. You just thank me. Sing some songs. Pray. And face these, these Ammonites and Moabites and Meunites that are in your life. Face those things with praises on your lip. Thanking God for his unfaithful love. I know how bad it looks, you know? Ellen just tells, tells us about this school shooting. I know how bad it, it, it looks. I know, I know what it looks like. Well, we are not defeated people. We are not. And death on this earth is not the end, by the way. It is not the end of the story at all. All right. I'm sure there'll be more. And look, if you've got comments, you put them down too. I want to hear from you all, okay? I know sometimes I get kind of busy and my head is <laughs> down. I'm not looking at the camera. I'm, I'm moving it just a bit. I'm sorry. Just to stable it a little better. Okay. All right. Um, but if you've got comments, something to share, something that you want to... Um, a mention to, to everyone, please do so. Okay. All right. You know, my theme is, uh, leaves. We're doing leaves cause it's fall y'all and it's beautiful. I love, I love this time of year. I really do. All right. We're going to have this tree kind of looking like we are down at the bottom of it. Okay. And I might have another one here, I think. Let's put another one here. I could put one another one. <laughs> okay. All right, I don't really think I want to um, I don't think I really want to draw anymore. I'm ready to paint. I know, but these are my tree my my tree trunks, okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I don't know if I want to do any more to that or not. 
Anyway, I love this time of year when all the colors are out and it's a little cooler. You know, it gets hot down here in the Ville. <laughs> all right, and I think today I'm going to use my... Um, I'm going to use both. I'm going to use my ink tense pencils as well as my uh, gelatos this morning. Okay. Now, both of these products, when they're activated by water, they be, are permanent. And um, that's why I've kind of uh, moved to uh, working with these. Because if, you know, if I get a page wet, if I want to do something on the other side, um, the back side of the page will not be ruined and that's kind of important okay with watercolor it can be reactivated again and you don't want that okay all right so I'm going to use um, I can always get a nice orange color between the two of these so I don't necessarily need another um, color there. I think I'm just going to use these two and get some variation. Okay. Uh, reds and yellows and oranges and we'll start with that. All right. And the best way that I've been able to work with this is just to put a little bit of that yellow down here on my, on my plate. Okay. And it's very creamy. It's almost like um, like a crayon, okay. And this is a uh, lemon. And this one is a uh, red red cherry. All right. Put a little bit of that on here. And I just take my water bottle and I just put a little bit of water in here to kind of activate it. And then uh, get my brush. All right, I'm going to use a relatively small brush just because I want smaller dabs. We'll worry about the trunks later. And uh, I think I'll start with the yellow first, okay? <laughs> All right, and uh, I'm just going to... going to put that in, in some spots. All right, we'll start with the lighter color and then go uh, darker, okay? We like that one verse that, uh, you know, the battle is not ours, it's the Lord's. That should give you some encouragement, <laughs> right? <laughs> but I think I really want to consider the the part about the worshiping and the singing. You know, I think when when troubles come our way. Our, our go-to is to worry. Kind of rehearsing the issue of the problem. Lord, what's going to happen? What are we going to do? And, oh, it's so bad. And, you know, instead of being in an attitude of, uh, prayer and praise and you know I, I I you know I don't run up on these things just willy-nilly y'all right <laughs> I don't okay I'm gonna add a little bit of that to make a little orange color it's gonna be a be deep. I could probably add a little bit of yellow, but I'm I'm all right with this color. 
I'm just going to put it in some spots. Not everywhere because I don't want to cover up all my yellow. I just want to add a little bit. Somehow we, we miss the idea of um, going into the mode of praise and thanksgiving. Um, and it said, while... While they were doing the praise and the thanksgiving and the singing and the worshiping, while they were doing that, God was fixing their, fixing their problem. I've got some folk on here. Shalewa, I hope I said that properly. That's beautiful. Thank you for being with me this morning. Is this your first time? Uh, Robbie Jackson is on. Good morning. Nancy, good morning. Angie is on. Good morning. Sister Richardson, good morning. <laughs> Al, did I say good morning to you? Good morning to you. And if someone else has gotten on, good morning to you. Thank you for being with me this morning. While they were praying and singing and worshiping, God was working out their situation. He caused the enemies to turn on one another. Isn't that something? Right, I'm just putting that color in kind of, uh, you know, wherever. All right. Now, my red is really a lot um, brighter than I think I would want, but we're going to go with it, okay? <laughs> we're going to go ahead and go with it. And... Um, I'm very tempted to kind of dry this first, but, um, and then put the red on top, but I kind of like how, uh, and it blends in some spots. So, um, I'm going to go with it <laughs> just as it is. And just kind of, you don't want it everywhere. Just, you know, because you don't want to destroy what you what you got over there on the other side. Other side, you don't. I mean, you know, you don't want it to be. Uh, let's say every. You don't want it everywhere. You just want it in some spots, all right? It's the best way for me to put it. Let's put it in some spots. Be random. But
that's fun. Mm -hmm. So if you're just joining me this morning, I am in um, Second Chronicles, the 20th chapter. Our verse actually is coming from, um, yeah, our verse that we're journaling is coming from verse 21. Give thanks to the Lord for his faithful love endures forever. And our story is about um, Jehoshaphat and how the Lord um, worked out, <laughs> uh, worked it out so that the uh, Israelites would not have to fight against these three huge, I mean, they were a vast army. Um, the Lord worked it out where they didn't have to do any fighting. All they needed to do was pray and sing and worship. That's it. God did all the rest. Right? I've got I don't want to make I don't want it to be muddy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think I want to add a little bit of the yellow. Um, I'm going to add a little bit more yellow. Like right in there. I happen to mention I love this time of year. I really do. I love seeing all the colors and the trees and everything begins to change. out my brush a little bit. So, you know, I always say that these things, uh, we need to start making application, right? You got some enemies. They might not be people, you know. You could just have some things that are that are pressing, that are, you know, and that seem against you. That's an enemy. <laughs> okay. Um You get to praying and worshiping God and and watch that thing unravel before you. Okay? He has not left us hopeless. He has he's not left us. And it looks bad. I would I would imagine. Here they are. Did you see? They had the women and the children. Everybody together. What are we going to do? <laughs> no. Don't do anything. Worship and pray and praise. Mm -hmm. All right. I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to be done with this part, okay? 
And um, what I think I'm going to do next is uh, do my background, okay? So let me, I'm gonna clean this up. And if you're just joining me this morning, um, I just used um, some gelatos to put in my trees. I've got three here. I don't know if you can see the drawing with the pencil, but I've got three trees here, all right? And then our foliage has turned a little yellow, a little orange, and a little red, okay? We're gonna use some other colors, but I think I'll do my ink tense pencils for that. And uh, let's do this blue for our uh, background. And um, I think I'm gonna lighten it up a little bit with a little bit of white. So I'm using some of this snow cone and then I'm gonna use uh, what's called coconut, okay? And that's just gonna make this blue a little lighter. All right, and I'll do it again. This is this is the best way that I've been able to. I can't do. I can't just color on my page like that with this stuff. <laughs> I haven't. Uh, I I did put water in here. Let's see what we have. It had. It, it almost comes out kind of like an ice ice blue color. All right, and I'm just gonna kind of uh, put it in uh, some spaces kind of around. And, um, you know, again, I say this often, you don't have to cover up the whole thing. You can leave some white space. You can make some areas a little uh, a little darker, a little lighter. All right. It just makes the artwork look a little interesting. That's all. So I have some light, some dark and see I'm grabbing from the I didn't I didn't blend in all of that color. So I just take a little bit of the lighter and take a little bit of that darker and have some variation. Just trying to put it like in between when I had where I had some some space <clears throat> where I didn't put any in of the uh, leaf the leaf color. Okay, just kind of filling it in. And I'm not necessarily being all that neat, <laughs> okay. All right, if you're just joining me this morning, I am, I am in Second Chronicles, the 20th chapter. Um, the verse that we are journaling is verse 21 okay uh, where Jehoshaphat is telling the people give praises to God give thanks and praise to God all right uh, for his faithful love endures forever all right 
as they are busy praising and giving thanks to God and good morning Amanda how are you this morning um, as they are giving thanks to God and uh, praising the Lord has worked out their situation um, their enemy was coming to attack and destroy um, they had banded together. These three armies had banded together. It looked bad, y'all. It looked really bad for uh, the Israelites, the Judah, that whole camp. It looked bad. But God worked it out for them. And... Those three armies end up destroying each other. And let me tell you the end of this story. At the end of this story, after they decide to, you know, they, they, after the, um, the armies had destroyed themselves, the, <clears throat> now, now the, now Jehoshaphat and the, and the, um, Israelites, um, they um, <laughs> they come up on the scene and all they see are these dead bodies. And there's so much plunder, uh, you know, it takes them three days for them to gather up all of the I don't know, armor, swords, spears, shields, and anything that they had on them. It took them three days for them to gather all that stuff. How does this story apply to you today, huh? How does it apply to you? All right. I'm going to use my ink tense pencils for my trees, okay? And um, great product. I'm going to use, I do believe, baked earth. <laughs> you know, I have some that I, I use quite a bit. Uh, I'm going to use bark. Uh, I'm going to throw in a little bit of mustard. And where is that willow? This is willow right here. I'm going to use a little bit of that. And mm, that might be it. Okay. All right. And uh, I will, I think I better dry this first. Okay. Let me dry it first. <clears throat> okay, give me a few seconds. That little area right in there, I must have laid down quite a bit. <laughs> it just felt a little damp. I want to make sure. All right. 
but I'm using ink tense pencil, so I'm gonna re-wet my page just you know in this area that has the um the tree trunk in it. I'm gonna use a little bit of bark and I'm gonna work around some of this color. I'm just using the side of my um pencil. I don't really want to use the tip. I want to use the side of the pencil. Okay, and stay in the line, Adrian. Good gracious. <laughs> All right. So we've got a little bit up in here. Okay. And I've got a little bit up in here. Now that was the uh, bark. Now I'm gonna use a little bit of baked earth. Okay. I want a lot of that. Okay. I'll use a little bit in here. Uh, mustard, okay. That's that dark yellow almost. Uh, it's close to that uh, yellow ochre. Yeah. I like that color. It's kind of earthy. I like it. And then uh, willow is the other color. And it's a little darker brown. Okay. I'm going to add that in in some of the spots. When it blends together, it's going to look nice. I'm going to use, though, because I'm going to drag uh, some white paint across. You'll see. All right, we won't worry about that. I'll pencil in probably some other things right in there. Okay. So I want to put a little bit of water in my plate, wet my brush a bit. <clears throat> And get this, get this uh, wet, and it begins to blend. And I kind, I could have used a, a larger brush, but I've got these little areas in here where I have my. Um, my leaves and I don't, um, not that it's gonna go anywhere because remember it's permanent, so it's gonna be okay. It's not gonna move, it's gonna stay right there. Sorry, this is the hint. You see, this is the hint of the tree going up there. All right. I don't mind those colors mixing like that. I'm all right with that. I like it. Okay. All right. It's coming. <laughs> Do I have some other folk who've gotten on this morning? Tim, did I say good morning to you? Uh, Cousin Herman, good morning. <laughs> All right. I want to dry this again. We're going to do a little 
uh, may pin work on this, maybe. All right, hold on just a second. Finishing touches on this. I'm going to use a little bit of my acrylic. I want to brush in a little bit of white. I could use my paint pen, but it's not going to do wide strokes like I would want. So I'm going to uh, use my angled brush. I'm just I'm going to work right out of the cap because I don't really want a lot of paint. And uh, I'm going to Kind of okay, and if you do it kind of like a with a round kind of stroke, it'll make your tree look round, okay. <laughs> Okay, not that much in that cap, so. All right, I'm gonna do the same with this. That's it. If you do a thin coat, the better. Yeah, if that's good, I'm not going to bother with it no more. I think that'll be all right. Okay. All right. Seems like I do want a little darker or something or another, but I'll wait for it to dry. Let's, uh, I'm going to put on the side, give thanks. All right. Cause that's our theme for, uh, as well as going to be for the month of November. I'm a little early. Um, give thanks is our, um, or thanks, thanksgiving, <laughs> all of that uh, will be our focus for the month of uh, November. So we're looking at all kinds of different uh, verses and uh, scriptures and stories even that um, I just want a little darker something. I know, and I look like I'm putting it in the paint, but I'm not. I promise I'm not. I'm not putting it in the paint. I'm kind of going around it. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, let's see, do I want to write it on the side or do I want to, maybe I'll do it here. I could do it up in the tree, huh? All right. 
I'm using a Faber-Castell Pit Artist pen to do the tracing of my uh, letters. And um, if you are just interested in doing the journaling in these uh, note-taking Bibles, um, these are great pens. They're permanent ink, but they will not bleed or spread. And um, you might get a little bit of shadowing, but not too much. Depends on how thick. With this uh, this uh, point, you won't get any. All right, and you can put it down there on your page, and you lift it right up. It will not bleed or anything. It it just made that one little dot. Let me show it to you. Let me see. There it is. You see that little dot I made? <laughs> and I mean, I could hold that there forever, and nothing would happen. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to switch to my bold, um, uh, broad brush tip, all right, to um, make my, my lines, my shadow. I do this because it makes my letters look better to me. Seen some people today. I pray that they are all right. Now I want to make these lines look a little fatter, and but not too much. And I have a set of uh, micron pins, Pigma micron pins. I'm going to show those to you in just a second. I want to find my. I think I'm going to go 05. Here it is. <clears throat> Let me find one that has the writing on it so you can see. I have kind of rubbed out. <laughs> Here is the 08. Uh, this is Pigma Micron pen, and here's an 08. But um, I'm, I'm going to go 05. It's a little smaller. And um, that 08 is, is a kind of a fat nip. It just refers to the the tip of your pen okay and um, I just want these to look a little bit more substantial than that initial line that I drew so it's going to help to kind of bring it all together I'm just about done okay and um, Hey, just be prepared all month. We're not just doing things, but we're doing leaves and just the fall kind of thing. All right. So just be prepared for that. <laughs> and of course, you know, I would love to have you all to um, <clears throat> show your work that you're doing, um, you know, and your insights and your thoughts about uh, the scriptures that we're doing. We've got uh, the challenge, finishing up that challenge on uh, Ephesians. Actually, I spread mine out because they finished uh, beforehand and um, didn't quite finish the, the month. And so I ended up taking some of the verses and chopping them up so I could go ahead and finish, you know, finish the month out with that. <clears throat> and now I have November's to do too, and we've started a little early with our thanks, but it's all right. All month, that's what our thoughts are going to be. All right, I'm going to take a blue uh, pencil and uh, come around to just uh, 
make that tree trunk stand out a little bit. And again, if you are just joining me this morning, we are in um, we are in Second Chronicles, the twentieth chapter. Our theme is thanks, and Jehoshaphat tells the people to give thanks to God for his faithful love endures forever. Amen. All right, I'm going to take um, this taupe color and kind of bring in a little bit of that brown in some spots, especially where I can still see um, <laughs> pencil, um, yeah, my initial pencil mark that I was doing. I want a little darker something and I think I'm going to go with my um, brush and I think I'm done right in here where I've and it's very dark huh? <laughs> but it's okay. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna be done. Yes, Amanda, I tried, <laughs> I tried. All right. There's our project for today, you all. Give thanks. Hey, you got an enemy, got two, got three. <laughs> Yes, just like uh, in our story. Don't worry. Just pray. Hmm? Pray. Remember just how God was with them. He'll be with you. And uh, do what they did. They fell down on their faces. They knelt down. They worshipped. Hmm? And they sang songs. Gave praises. So practice doing a little bit of that and then watch your enemies kind of turn on each other, huh? <laughs> and destroy themselves. And then you just reap the plunder the next three days. <laughs> I like it. Okay. However it may apply, all right? These stories are for us to have some hope, okay, and to know that we are not helpless, all right, and that God is going to be with us, amen? All right, you all, I think I am finished for today. And I will see you all back here, Lord willing. Tomorrow morning, if you enjoyed the program, share it, please, and invite your friends to be with us uh, from day to day. Uh, hey, and write a little note to some folks who are missing. I got some people who weren't with me today, and you know, I done got accustomed to seeing their names pop up and <laughs> hearing their comments, so... We need to check up on one another. All right, let's do that. Okay, you all. God bless you. May your journey be sweet. And we'll see you all um, tomorrow morning. All right. If you have not joined BAJ Every Day with Adrian, do that so that you can see the artwork that individuals are putting up and the thoughts and our challenges are there. The whole month of November, we're writing uh, scriptures of thanks. And um, 
Maybe some other surprises uh, later on, okay? All right, you all. God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.